This is a book that people have been asking me about for months. For months, I've been getting comments about whether or not this is a good book. So a few weeks ago, I bought it, and I have been working through this book uh, a lot. I've probably done over 200 problems out of this book, and I love this book. So what is it? Let me turn it over so you can see it. I feel like this is like a legendary calculus book. It is called Elements of Calculus and Analytic Geometry, and this is the book by Thomas and Finney. This book is absolutely amazing, and I love the exercises. Let's take a look inside this amazing book. This is super cool. Look at this. MIT. I had no idea that the authors of this book uh, were MIT professors, and so when I opened the book, I'm like, whoa, this is a book written by like actual professors at MIT, something I did not expect at all uh, when I bought this book. There's the copyright date, 1981. So this is a book from the early 80s, at least my copy is, and it smells like one. I really wish, oh, I wish you could smell it with me. It's just, just take a little whiff there. Amazing. Um, it smells like an old comic book. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid, and it smells like comic books. So as I work through this book and I do math problems, I'm constantly reminded of, of comic books. It's just like a win-win. <laughs> So this is the table of contents, and I'll go through it uh, a little bit slowly so you can see the topics that are included. It does include uh, you know, all of the standard topics uh, that you see in a Calc 1 and Calc 2 course. So if, if you're in the US and you would take uh, Calc 1 and Calc 2, um, this book uh, should cover all of the you know, major topics. Um, some sections are, are better uh, than what you would find in modern books, and some sections are uh, slightly lacking. The book lacks in pictures, like it doesn't have a lot of like pretty pictures and 3D graphs, and I think that's because it's a book from, from the 80s, so it doesn't have that. But it makes up for it, I believe, in the exercises and in the clarity of the presentation. Uh, the book is written in a very rigorous way, it's, it's written like a math book, and it's clear. Um, the authors are, I guess, very well-known mathematicians, I didn't do much research on the authors at all. Um, and I should, and actually after I make this video, I'm going to Google them and uh, see if they're still alive and, and see what's going on. So as I mentioned, I've done several problems from this book, and more recently, actually just like three days ago, uh, I finished uh, this chapter here. This is the one on hyperbolic functions, and I went through this entire chapter, and I did the majority of the exercises uh, in this chapter. And I was actually quite impressed. Uh, the treatment of hyperbolic functions in this book is a little bit better than a lot of the other modern books. So Thomas and Finney do spend more time. I mean, you have an entire chapter on hyperbolic functions. Let me show you some of the problems that, uh, that I did. I was just really pleased with the variety of the questions. They're very different from the questions that you find in modern books, like the book by Stewart or the book by Larson, which are often used at most colleges and universities in the US and in Canada. Um, this one has uh, different types of exercises, which I thought were, were quite interesting. For example, number four there, it's a really easy proof, but still something that you, know, you don't typically see uh, in the modern books. And number six here, where they give you uh, one of the hyperbolic functions, and then you have to find the other ones. I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, not something that I had done before. I thought, wow, this is, this is kind of fun. Kind of fun, you know, simple problems uh, to get you thinking about uh, hyperbolic functions. Here's another section. You see I crossed some of these out. I was going through them. Uh, I felt a little bit bad to uh, write in the book, uh, but it's okay. I think I paid uh, less than $10 for this book. Um, I got it on the internet used. Uh, I always try to get my books used because, you know, I have a lot of books and it can get expensive. You know, if you start buying, you know, 10, 15 books, you know, it, it, it starts to add up. There's a bunch of other random derivative problems that I was just doing. Um, just kind of fun to go through these, and especially the inverse hyperbolic uh, trig functions. Those are not something that are typically covered very thoroughly in a calculus class. In fact, in my Calc 2 class, uh, I, I think I might talk about them, but it's not something that you know I'm really thorough with, mainly for time constraints. Uh, it's often overlooked in, in a lot of books, but this book uh, does a good job. It does, it does cover it quite well. This is the section on the exponential function. It really reads, you know, quite well. Um, the readability of this book, I think, is one of its biggest pros. But for me, uh, personally, uh, it's the exercises. You know, like I said, I already uh, know calculus, so I'm not using this to learn from scratch. I'm kind of using this to just see what's out there and explore some different problems. I kind of overdid it here uh, the other day, and I did all of these problems. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, yeah.
sometimes it's good to just sit down and then just like refresh your math and just do problems. You know, you, you learn math by doing problems. I always talk about how important it is to read math books. Uh, this is one that I particularly got mainly not to read but, but to do problems from and I'm finding it uh, quite good. So this is another reason that this is a good book for problems. Look at this. These are the answers in the back of the book and look. One, two, three, four, five, six. So from my experience, from all the problems I've done, and I've done over 200, um, all of the answers are in the back of the book, except the proofs. Like if, it, if it's asking you to show something, uh, it's not going to be here. For example, there was a problem where I had to show that a certain function was a solution to a differential equation, and I worked it out, but I looked in the back of the book, and there wasn't like a solution here. But and I'm pretty sure I did it right. Uh, but that's one of the things that's lacking. Nevertheless, this is more than what you would typically see uh, in a regular calculus book, like, like the ones by Stuart or Larson. I say regular, uh, I mean more popular book uh, that's used today. I don't know uh, if this book is used. If you're using this book, please let me know, because uh, people kept mentioning it in the comments. And uh, yeah, it's a really big book too. It's not as big as some of the other calculus books, but it's big. Look at it bend. You can see it bend. It's really thick and it bends when you pick it up. You just see that, that arc. Really, really nice. Solid, big, thick calculus book. This is one of these sections on infinite series. Nice variety of problems here. Um, I have not uh, done any of these yet though. This is where I'm going. I I'm really liking this book. And I think if you're looking for a book um, where you can get problems from that are different from like the calculus book you're using for your class, this is a really good choice. You get a lot of different problems. Uh, and they're just, it's just like a different flavor. It's like a different style, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm finding the problems to be very, very different than the ones you see uh, in other books. Um, I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it's an older book. Uh, but it's working for me. This book does touch on some topics from Calculus 3, but it's not as comprehensive as, again, as some of the other big books that are used to teach Calculus 1, 2, and 3. For example, it does talk about curvature. It talks about acceleration, velocity, and all of that stuff. So it does have those topics, but I don't think it's you know, comprehensive uh, in that regard. A really big question that I'm having now as I make this video is, is this book still in print? So as soon as I post this video, I will put a link to Amazon uh, so you can look at the reviews and stuff. And maybe there's a newer edition, I don't know. Um, again, mine is from 1981. Uh, maybe the title has changed slightly. So um, yeah, again, the book is the one by Thomas and Finney. It's called Elements of Calculus and Analytic Geometry. And honestly, this is, oh look, here's some more problems that I did. Uh, this, this is a great book. Um, if you're looking for a book to do problems from, like so you can get some extra practice for your calculus class, I highly recommend, like you should totally just go and get a used copy. Try to get it used. Um, it really will depend a lot on shipping and stuff like that. But again, I was able to get this uh, for, oh, the pages. Oh, look at that. So yellow. Ah, oh, I guess I gotta smell it. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> get, try to get it used, right? The used book smell is just priceless. I love this book. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Again, Elements of Calculus by Thomas and Finney. Awesome book.